subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Developer. So let's get started. Question number 1, define and expand CRM? Your answer is, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. The CRM is a technology for managing all your company's relationships, and interactions with customers and potential customers. It is basically intended to improve business relationships to grow your business. Moreover, CRM system also helps companies stay connected to customers, streamline processes, and improve profitability. Question number 2, what is an attribute? Your answer is, an attribute is a field on a component, such as the name of an email template, or the allow reports checkbox on a custom object. Question number three, who can edit attributes in non-upgradable and upgradable components? Your answer is, on a non-upgradable component in either an unmanaged or managed package, attributes are editable by both the developer and the subscriber. On an upgradable component in a managed package, some attributes can be edited by the developer, some can be edited by the subscriber, and some are locked, meaning they can't be edited by either the developer or subscriber. Question number 4, what is a data extension? Your answer is, a data extension is a table within the application database that contains your data. You could use a data extension to store subscribers data like lists or just to house relational data. Question number 5, what is the difference between all subscribers and all contacts lists? Your answer is, 1. All contacts list includes all contacts in a marketing cloud instance. The all subscribers list specifically refers to subscriptions created within Email Studio. 2. Email Studio references the all subscribers list to prevent sends to unsubscribed email addresses. However, this action applies only to Email Studio information and activities. 3. A contact can unsubscribe from a subscription in Email Studio and still receive messages from other apps, such as Mobile Connect or Mobile Push. Question number 6. What is the difference between contact ID and subscriber ID, versus contact key and subscriber key? Your answer is, 1. Customers use a primary identifier for their customers and link their identifier to Marketing Cloud, using the Marketing Cloud contact key or subscriber key value. 2. The contact ID and subscriber ID fields act as surrogate keys, used by internal Marketing Cloud systems. Question number 7. What is the use of Metadata API? Your answer is, Metadata API is used to deploy changes programmatically. You can retrieve, deploy, create, update, and delete customization information for your org, such as experience cloud sites, custom object definitions, and page layouts. Moreover, using Metadata API is ideal when the changes are complex or when you need a more rigorous change management process, and an audit process to manage multiple work streams. Question number 8, what is REST API? Your answer is, REST API provides a powerful, convenient, and simple REST-based web services interface for interacting with Salesforce. Its advantages include ease of integration and development, and it's an excellent choice of technology for use with mobile applications and web projects. Question number 9, what do you understand by AMP script? Your answer is, AMP script is a scripting language that you can embed within HTML emails, text emails, landing pages, SMS messages, and push notifications from mobile push. Moreover, the system processes the script at the point, where you include it in the message to render content on a subscriber by subscriber basis. The marketing cloud application handles all AMP script calls at the end of the email send. Question number 10, what do you understand by push technology? Your answer is, push technology, also known as the publish or subscribe model, transfers information that is initiated from a server to the client. It is the opposite of pull technology that requests for information that is made from a client to a server. Question number 11, define all subscribers list? Your answer is, the all subscribers list is considered the master list of records for the Marketing Cloud Email Studio account. Every subscriber in your account appears in the all subscribers list. Subscribers added to a subscriber list join the all subscribers list at the same time. Moreover, a subscriber can be unsubscribed on lists, and groups and be active on the all subscribers lists. 
Question number 12, what are publication lists? Your answer is, a publication list helps you manage how subscribers receive several different categories of emails or SMS messages. Moreover, publication lists help you to manage subscribers unsubscribe or opt-out actions. Having a separate publication list for each communication type enables the users to honor an opt-out request from one publication type without unsubscribing that person from all previously subscribed to publications. Question number 13, who is a list level unsubscribe? Your answer is, a subscriber who unsubscribes at the list level does not receive any emails that are sent to that list or publication list. For example, a person can unsubscribe from your sale announcements list but still receive emails that you sent to your weekly newsletter list. Question number 14, who is a global unsubscribe? Your answer is, a subscriber who unsubscribed at the global level is maintained in a special table in Marketing Cloud Database, and effectively unsubscribed from all current and future lists in all Salesforce Marketing Cloud accounts. Question number 15, what is multi-factor authentication? Your answer is, multi-factor authentication enhances your Marketing Cloud login process, by adding another layer of protection against common security threats, including phishing attacks, credential stuffing, and account takeovers. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.